Sorry guys, this is real life here. We're, this is so We are really not happy. What are we about to go do? Go see Santa. Yeah? You know what you want? Yeah. Oh yeah, there are, aren't there? Did you hear what he said? No. That deer is gonna die. Oh. And I was like, wolves. and he goes, there's so many wolves, yeah. <laughs> so not only did we bring our, our our house on day night, but we brought it to see Santa. <laughs> We are heading to Georgia. We are super excited about Christmas. We hope you guys are too. We will videotape what we can of our Georgia trip and we wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We just got done doing... Uh, Tom's? Who throws Tom's outside? Mom is upset. That's a good Tom right there. Where's the other one? Right there. Two. Somebody got mad at their what? Ow. <laughs> she just hit the Somebody got mad at their what? <laughs> There are seven and a half. That's Heather's size. <laughs> Heather, they're meant for you. Yeah, yeah. We just got done going down Highway 16 in Georgia, which is uh, east to west highway from Macon to Savannah. Beep. It was brutal, like junk, 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 junk. So we've been on it now for almost an hour and a half. Uh, I'm gonna check and make sure everything's set. Mom and B are gonna go potty break, and this is how we do our quick off the road stops. Flat tire. Yep. Trying to limp it back to this gas station real quick. I got about 12 pounds and I'm falling. There's a air compressor over here and I got a spare tire. We're gonna see if I can make this thing work. The truck was going on the highway and it was like squeak, 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 like real loose. I went and checked. I didn't know if I dropped a, a bar or something. No, it's not air, is it? That one's air, isn't it? That thing, little thing over there? Yeah. And, uh, it sounds terrible. All right, guys. <laughs> so, so this day is the day that won't ever end. Uh, yeah, that's a little low. I think we are about 12 pounds and counting. God bless BP. They finally put out a free air. I'm gonna see if I can put some air in this thing and then uh, try to figure out where the leaks come from because I can hear it leaking. Right now, the realization that's coming to mind is I have one of the crappy little scissor jacks. Good news is, I got my house and my tools with me. Hey Heather, can you uh, lift the tongue up on the jack of the trailer? See if we can get some weight off of the trailer, uh, back tires. The jack up. Let's figure out how to pull the tire. And first, uh, next, uh, next up is uh, get a jack underneath this thing before I lose all my air. So. Right now, I gotta have both hands to do this, which means if anybody's gonna film it, it's gonna be yours truly. So, what did we do? What happened? Great question. I don't know. Uh, Seems like that's a real perfect little hole there. It is a real perfect little hole. Uh, and Heather might be accusing me that I just jumped out and put a hole in the trailer for funsies. I'm just happy it's <laughs> But let's be clear, tire. the only time this is fun and is Never when the fun. misery is on Heather only Never and I fun. can film her. No. Right now this sucks because and in case you guys haven't seen where the suburb how the suburban keeps it spare, you're in for a treat because it's not very uh, there accommodating. It is. There's a spare. What the? <laughs> So I can change the tire, I guess. Baby Bruce. You want me to throw the hose over to you for a second? Yeah, that'd be great. Exhibit A, the location of the jack and the tools to get to the spare tire. A little shout out to GM. I know you guys are paranoid. How much did it cost you to put a key on the spare tire? Because I think it would have been more beneficial to spend the same amount of money to just put new anchor points for your uh, car seats. Not complaining, my spare tire's still there. I feel like that's a little excessive. Just saying. 
I am having a tough time understanding how to remove the spare tire from the Suburban. Would you like us to YouTube it for you? It's probably heading that way. I feel like this could be a great YouTube video. Because I had a Silverado that had the same contraption, but I could get underneath there to like uh, start loosening the, the cord that pulls the tire down that drops it. This thing has a gas tank right above it, and I can't reach in there, so I don't know. Is it under here? Oh, it's under there. Oh, jeez. I don't understand what it is that you're doing right here. What? Why are you messing with the bumper? Don't oh. you just need to get, like, aren't there just bolts that you just unhook? That tire's held on by, like, this weird, bolts. like claw that looks like something from a candy factory that right. is pulled up tight. So what I'm doing is trying to loosen the winch that holds the tire so the tire will drop to the ground. Oh, why can't, oh, you have to do that from up here. So it's just randomly going to drop on the ground? No, no, there's a, there's a, <laughs> this is great. It's not like a, it's not like a bank robbery where you put the right code in and it just opens. It's uh, like a winch. So I'm trying to find the, like Happy I'm using choice. this, I'm using this oh, rod wow. to guide in here to find this hidden like Phillips end piece so that way I know how to lower it. I can't find it. Just don't let it drop on your head. Yeah that's not that's a good advice. Write that one down. I feel like the guy was not happy if you were taking his uh, air compressor for him? Yeah. I come here every Friday to use this air compressor and you guys are in my way. I was like believe me we will uh brother if I can get you if I can get out of the way for you I will we will give How long you are you guys going to be? Well, the fastest I've ever changed a spare is two days. Really? No, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, going to call for somebody. Yeah, no. Somebody. This is man rule. You figure it out. Of course no, I just went to pick me up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just put icing on this cake right now. I'm I don't want any say, icing on your cake. <laughs> if a cop comes by and gives us a ticket for parking in this handicap spot. Are we in a handicap spot? Um, yeah, kind of. I want to get the, uh, Owner's manual. I don't have much daylight left. That's so. locked. You want me to get it for you? Yeah. <laughs> so I sent you in here to go find the owner's manual. How bad do you need the owner's manual? I need it pretty bad. <laughs> Can you read half of it like this? <laughs> because it's stuck. <laughs> Not by me either. I came into him slamming the door. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> I really can't get it out. Like it doesn't have the cover. You don't need the cover. Do you? No, not that bad. And the wheel block retainer by turning the wing nut check, clock check, check. counterclockwise. Get to the spare tire. How's it fall down? Okay. To access the spare tire, refer to the following graphics. Open an, the hoist shaft access. I promise you, I've worked on cars my whole entire life. And for this some, doesn't make any sense. For some reason or another, this is the first time I've ever had to do this with a spare tire. Oh, yep. What's wrong? That's right. That's right? Yep. What does that mean? It means now I get to lower it. Look at that, with my help. With the help? It's like our powers combined, Captain Planet. That's right. There it goes. All I want for Christmas is not a set of tires. Battery. I feel like this is Christmas story. My old man could change a flat tire. So do you think this is gonna work? Maybe. It's not a lot of things I'm good at. But bringing stuff together, oh, geez. one of my fortes. Uh-huh. Where are we at? We are officially off. Pretty sure I beat the dad from Christmas Story. Yeah, what was his time? I don't remember. Slow. <laughs> Get the spare. Car set. So I'll tighten these up how pretty she is. This is an ugly tire. I really hope she gets this home. Yeah, she should. I have no idea what the tire pressure is. Can you grab the uh, tire pressure gauge for me? It's yes. in the glove box where we keep the everything thing. else. We are done, buttoned up, heading back on to, uh, I guess. 75? Uh, no, yeah, uh, 280. 285. 285. And hopefully we'll survive one tire down. Hopefully no more splats between now and home, but uh, we'll see where it makes it in. I'm gonna go clean up real quick in my house. We've had a most meltdown. challenging a day. Meltdown. Rightfully so. A four hour trip that's now turned into eight. There, it wasn't like a blowout. Right. We hit a neighbor.
meal or something and it was losing air real quick. And then, because you're in Georgia, every road's built on a horse trail. We try to leave and we can't make the turn sharp enough because every exit of the gas station was on this little dip. So the back of our bumper, the jack, the factory jack stands right there, one of them just it. It's done. It's it's it went from this to this. So it's hanging on for dear life on the back right now. I got it straightened up, uh, but basically I had to stop traffic to get out of this gas station. It is now 5:30. We got about an hour. Left. Yay! There are highs and there are lows. This is a low. But the next few days will be highs. The few days before this were highs happens with life, whether you get an RV or not. Yep. All right, bye. I'm melting my shoes off.